Hello, and welcome to Crime Labs. As always, please like and subscribe to our channel to help us grow a voice for victims. At 10.45 a.m. on July 2, 2002, a Japanese bullet train passed through Kobe's Sumiyoshi Station. Sumiyoshi Station was not a stop for this train, so it drove past the station at approximately 62 miles per hour. One passenger on this train, who witnesses described as wearing red clothing, was seen jumping from the speeding train at the top stop and colliding with a metal fence on the platform. Shockingly enough, witnesses on the platform and on the train then described the man standing up, ignoring the concerned onlookers on the platform, and walking through the ticket gate. Once he exited the ticket gate, he was never seen again. The police soon became involved since the man violated the Railway Business Act of Japan. They searched the surrounding areas and found the man hit the fence with such force that he actually broke off a piece and bent it. The police then searched local hospitals and found that no one with the similar injuries sought treatment. News outlets covered the case study heavily with some hopes of identifying the man who jumped off the train, but to no avail. Everything about this remains a mystery, but investigators believe that this was intentional and planned. To jump off the train at Sumiyoshi Station meant that he must have ridden from the previous station on the coupling that connects the train cars, hidden from sight before jumping off. Why would he have done this? Investigators believe he may have been in a rush to get to Sumiyoshi Station, but could not wait for the next train, wanted to seek an adrenaline rush, or the most disturbing of the theories, that he wanted to commit suicide. Many sources argue the theory of suicidal attempt because he could have jumped off the train at any point in the journey. So it seems unlikely he wanted to wait until the train was at the platform for the Sumiyoshi station. There were no further leads for this case and CCTV footage was not yet available at this station. The statute of limitations on this case passed in 2003 and all investigations ceased. There are no further leads. Thanks for watching Crime Labs on YouTube. Please click here and watch our other videos.